The testing campaign of Booster 7 started yesterday. People were expected a static fire test, but the reality is a lot of work is yet to be done underneath the rocket before igniting the engines. The current test campaign is more of the stage zero testing, making everything is okay, the tank farm, the plumbing, and the quick disconnects. Need to tick a lot of boxes before the actual static fire test. This morning, crews could be seen working on top of the booster. Now the road closure is in effect and the test continues. American rocket company, Rocket Lab successfully launched NASA's CubeSat capstone to deep space on its way to the moon. The Electron booster blasted off from the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand carrying the 25 kg CubeSat. Capstone will test out an elliptical orbit for a planned lunar gateway around the moon which will be the foundation of the whole Artemis mission. SpaceX's CRS-25 commercial resupply mission to the ISS is scheduled now for July 14 liftoff. SpaceX's next mission SES-22 is all set to launch tomorrow from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Weather is 80% go with 20% concern of weather violations over cumulus cloud formation. I hope you enjoy the launch tomorrow. That is it for now. If you enjoy short updates like this, don't forget to subscribe.